have mastered our family's techniques, and even gone beyond them. However, you know that this is only the beginning of your path as a sort. But we can save that for after you beat the Steel Maiden. We'll meet again on this world's final day. I'll be looking forward to it. Well, don't let it. I never asked. I never had any intention of letting you, our sage, take over this mission in the first place. We can do. We can do. We can no doubt expect the remaining stalwart or cavalry are awaiting our arrival at the shrine, and that's the end. Well, hello, everybody, and welcome back to Trails of Cold Steel Four. Confronting the two of them, we at, rather, my ward Arian Road is my role as the leader of the Stall Ritter. I insist that you enjoy a peaceful respite, Victor, the greatest swordsman in all of Erebonia. Whoa, did she just... D Duvely. Oh, what? So now you're going to... hemorrhage me simply for speaking with a little courtesy? Us? Make fun of you? Nah. You normally take every opportunity to cr criticize the Arsade school, so... Ugh. Listen, you... Allow me to think to take you up on that on your offer, O oh, true successor of the Steel Maiden's will. Please, lead Reen and the others to see that the cavalry is... I mean, rivalry is accomplished. I too have the strength to fight. If you'll have me, please let me know if I can be of use. Not as a fellow swordsman, but as a friend and ally. W w what are you saying? We've come this far together, haven't we? She's been one of us for some time already, hasn't she? <laughs> that's... that's true. Not that we've always gotten along swimmingly. But ever since the workshop, she's kind of stuck with us the whole time, hasn't she? She's even been helping to revamp our training routines. <laughs> I knew her sorry ass was too soft to really be our enemy. Ash? Uh, everyone. <laughs> well, regardless of what's to come, let's hit pause on the witty banner and get our asses in gear. It's time to hit up the Stella Sanctuary, the stage for the third rivalry. Until we've seen this rivalry through to its end, we'll follow your lead, Duvely. As your allies, you can count on us being right there with you. And if at all possible, please take me to the shrine too. Erebonia's future is Crossbell's future now. As a representative of Crossbell, I'd like to see what happens next with my own two eyes. You're all so... Fine. Do whatever you want. Just know that one cannot face my ward with half-hearted resolve. It will require flawless preparation. I hope you've steeled yourselves. Right! Once we're good to go, just say the word, my friend. If need be, we can probably even set the ship down on the side of a pillar of light. With Imperial Defense Force dispatch, entering town would be a rather risky move right now. You should be as fine as long as you don't venture beyond the beach off the shore of the road. St. Universal Hospital should be safe to visit as well. Just let us know if you'd like to drop by. Got a few places to go to before... Anything else? So pretty much, I can get my actual team... With even a little extra. Yeah, I can actually get my whole team... And yeah, a little extra. Honestly, it would be better to really take Kurt because we'll get more story in with this part by taking Kurt, so. In a way, Kurt is part of the story with Wara here now at this point. <clears throat> Let's make sure something here. No. Nope, not that. Yeah. So. Uh, we can only go to the hospital. Oh, Reen Muse Emma Duvely. Alright. Reen Muse and Emma Duvely, huh? Reen Muse Emma Duvely. 
Well, they all have their CP at 200, so let's go ahead and just knock this out. Wait. Seems like a good spot for a break. Now we're good to go. Let's do it. A worthy foe. Be on your guard. Hmm. My turn. Hmm. Okay. Arcane Dale. Ha! It's down. Attack. Very well. We do much better if we tried burning them. Excuse me, what was Here that? Like, what were you trying to do right there? Uh, hi -ya! Now! I got you! Excuse me. It's my turn. Hmm. My turn. Arcane Dale. Ha! My duty calls. Ha! Now, I've got you. I'm going. All right, another one of these. Very good. Now's our chance. Too slow. <laughs> Very well. Hey, now, why are you hitting Reen up? Fast. Black tortoise formation. Very well. Arcus activate. Out. Cha. It's my turn. Arcus activate. Yes. I mean, if that's how you want to be, I'll just hit you up with some good old abnormalities. Someone be petrified. It's my turn. Aw, leaving so soon. Penta shot. Now's our chance. Too slow. I'm up. Or just activate. Very well. Uh, hi -ya! Now. You know what? Why not? I kind of wasted going. that. <laughs> there. Now. An opening. Yeah. All right. Nice work. Easy peasy. Hardly any XP to gain from that as well. <laughs> I did it. 
Reflects twice as two at no, I think that's pretty nice, I guess. <laughs> I grew a little. So she has a new S craft now. Overcame the trial. Reen's it's now Dark Moon, of course. Well, I never used that, so that's not going anywhere anyway. Uh, let me go to... Yeah, I need to mess with something here. Yeah, she needs to now actually have Gloom as her primary. And she can now leave Sophia to that. So now her attacks will always be doing something like that. So that's good. That's good and fixed. Now I can go back to Courageous and fix some things again. Alright, we're good. So, can we go to the showers right quick? I see we have an event in the showers. I see... Well, let's go get that event, because why not? I need to use it. The performance was a success, and the barrier has vanished. Now it's finally under the rivalry of the Stella Sanctuary. My next opponent truly is a legend. Maybe I should go ahead and try to rest up one more time. Hmm. Leanne Sandlot, the Maiden of Legend. I caught sight of her in the Spectral Moon Mirror, and she was so incredibly kind and merciful. Her affectionate gaze was only directed at him, but also at my mother, and even me as an infant. I kind of get why Duvely and the others adore her so much now. Oh, it seems that someone's here, but this presence... Oh? Is that you, Swarther? <laughs> Duvely, is that Sharon with you? Wait, there's one more person too, right? <laughs> Perceptive. It is a big deal, after all. Oh, so it's you, Angelica. The Stella Sanctuary's Pillar of Light. Under there, the Seventh Anguish and the Stallritter. Are certain to be waiting, fully prepared. I'd like to thank you, Angelica, Sharon, and you most of all, Swarzer. Oh? Duvoli. At the Radiant Blade Master trial at Orcus Tower, and also at the Draco Shrine before that. If you hadn't worked so hard, I wouldn't have been able to make it here today. At least, let me thank you. Duvoli. <laughs> Best part of your hard work involved helping us out, of course. And we are enemies at some point, and we were enemies at some point, weren't we? <laughs> And I also, until very recently, stood before you as an adversary. I cannot thank you enough, Duvoli, for providing Miss Elisa and Reen with your support. Well, you were all continuously supporting Class 7 well before that, right? The flow of everything thus far has led to this path to my ward, as well as the rivalries. As I said before, I really must thank you all. Duvoli. Let's do this together. Yeah, let's do this together then. She's strict but kind. I'm sure our feelings will reach her. <sighs> this path truly has refreshed both mind and body. The same battlefield as the War of the Lions awaits. It's about time that we finish our preparations and head out. <laughs> Understood. Oh, I was hoping you could, I could, you and I could relax a bit, but it might be better to leave that for afterward, just so it won't be a distraction for you. D don't you start uh, in, in, uh, don't you start imitating the, that red-haired menace? Yeah, I heard from Randy. <laughs> she seems famous over at Orbor, so along with the third Anguis. Nice. Very good. So, uh, let me start at the rear deck. Good screen. 
I said no, thank you. Why don't you give it a rest? Uh, Gaius? Explain. Oh, see. Zeo came to land on the ship for a bit of rest and happened to bump into a napping Selene. I think he feels kind of solitary with both how they... with her. They both help support Class 7 in their own ways, after all. Makes sense. I guess that means Selene can understand what Zeo's saying. From the look of it, yes. Of course, a trifling matter from the familiar of my stature. Right, sure. So, what were you two talking about just now? Oh, Zeo wanted to share some of his food with me as a show of goodwill. I told him I don't eat earthworms, but he won't back down, keep telling me how is how nutritious they are. It's going to take a while to convince him. I'm not just being a picky eater. Ah, so that's what it was. At any rate, it looks happy to have made a friend that he can talk to. It. Yeah, that sounds nice. He definitely isn't a he. I definitely just had to call him an it. And my controller is getting very low well on battery. It looks like I'm probably going to be forced to stop at some point. But this battle with Aragonian, or whatever, you can expect it to be a bigger challenge than we've ever faced before. Ashton Awakener. No, Reed. I too will provide as much support as I can. <clears throat> Thank you so much, Ordeen. Now it's finally time for the third rivalry. The Steel Maiden awaits. We need to give it everything we've got. Hi, Irene. Great work taking on the tower. Thanks, Mint. I loved your performance, by the way. Vivi, I'm guessing you're here to interview everyone who took part? You bet. I'd never let a scoop like this just melt away. So, Mint, can I get a statement? How did it feel to be a key part of such a monumentous... monumentous... A musical milestone. Well, since you asked so nicely, I was really nervous at first, but I just took a deep breath and let my lungs carry me through. I guess you could say our incredible success rests entirely on my masterful instincts as a flute player. Well, aside from all the bits I got wrong... Oh, Mint, never change. It was really fun to perform alongside Chuck Demary again, too. Makes me wonder how things ended up between her and Uncle Makarov. Me too, now that you mention it. Right? It's been two years already! I mean, come on! Make a move! You can barely call this an interview anymore. Taking a coffee break over here? Instant would be would have sufficed, but this fellow insisted on brewing us a fresh pot. I'd heard some time... I'd had... I'd heard some time back, but... I heard some time back that the professor was a coffee person. So I thought I'd brew him a pot of the best coffee we'd have to refresh him. I expect no less from a connoisseur like you, Machias. What do you think, Professor? Do you approve? Hmm, not bad, not bad at all. Drinking by this aroma, you even took the temperature and humidity of the room into account when brewing it. I pride myself on it. I take it back. Just calling you a connoisseur doesn't do you justice. <coughs> There's one thing you failed to consider the effect of the ship's altitude growth. And the result change in air pressure. I give you an A minus. Not bad, but still room for improvement. I, I suppose that's fair. I'll try better next time. The professor's a tough egg to crack, though. I think monkeys could get through to him eventually. That rehearsal was really something. He gave me chills. Yeah, so he kind of sold the show, but everyone else did a good job too. Estelle and Cher is dancing, Joshua's harmonica, Ren's singing. It was all so enchanting. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'm so proud of them. Seems like most of the Laboral group are artsy types. Or artsy types. That's true. It's a pity we didn't get to hear you sing, Tita. <laughs> I don't know about that. I'd probably be too nervous to sing in front of a crowd that big. You've probably got more experience with that than me, Fee. Didn't you perform at your school festival? Yeah, Louie and I were Emma's backup singers. Maybe we should watch that show again sometime. George recorded the whole thing on a memory quartz. Oh cool, I'd love to see it. Sure, why not? Uses and Machias have been doing their best to forget about it, but that just makes it more fun. Do -do -do. Do -do. Are you sure you're feeling alright? I heard you passed out the Ark and CL show. 
What in the world happened? Why was the script writer? I felt obliged to keep a close eye on the show, but I was unprepared for the sheer destructive power of a pairing of Oliver and Joshua. Destructive power? If only we could harness it somehow. No, no, it would be too dangerous. The world isn't ready for a weapon of that magnitude. I'm still not sure I follow. Your name's Kitty, yes? You're from the Military Finance Division. I never noticed before, but you have a lot of potential on your own. <laughs> I'm getting a ton of ideas for new pairings already. It looks like the blood's rushing to your head. Here, let me help. I have a feeling being on this ship may prove a little too stimulating for Dorothy. So Ash, I got us to stick to this problem I could use our help with. What do you think my chances are with Ada? Like, what percent? Damn, you don't fool around, do you? <laughs> About to slap a number on it, I'd say 20% give or take. Only 20? You mean I'm wasting my time? Hey, don't take it so hard. I still think it could happen. It just wouldn't be easy, that's all. Wait, wait. Are you saying Ada is into me? Did she say anything? Like I said, man, 20%. If you really like her, go for it. Good luck. You're gonna need it. <laughs> Sydney just keeps jumping from one extreme to another. I'm impressed Ash would take the time out to help a friend like this. You got the perfect voice for Northern Rock. But I've got to admit, you sounded great as part of the chorus too. <laughs> Thank you. Instructor Sarah and Valerie, it's not often I see you two together. We've got more in common than you might think. We're from the same province, for one. Sully's actually from Northambria, too, but she moved to Crossbow two years ago and ended up joining Ark and CL. Wow, well, I never knew. Hopefully this appointment will give our fellow Northambrians a little boost. I know, I'm feeling inspired to do my part. I'm glad to hear that. Hi, Emma. Maltina. Taking a break for some tea? That stuff sure smells nice. Vita gave it to us. Apparently it's supposed to be good for taking care of your throat. She said she used to drink it all the time at the Opera House. Emma added some Armorica honey to it as well. I think it should be very effective. Smart to get on top of it like this. But you know, while both Altina and Vita's singing voices are amazing, I'm very excited to hear you sing again too, Emma. Alright. Weren't you the lead singer in the concert you put on in the festival? Don't remind me. I get embarrassed just thinking that I ever got roped into wearing that costume. But if we ever get the chance, I do think it would be fun to sing with you, Altina. Same here. Now that's something I wouldn't want to miss. I'm exhausted from all that singing. I'm so glad that the performance was a success. But that roar from the crowd at the end was so powerful, it made me feel strangely fulfilled somehow. On another note, I've been enjoying Palm Party recently. I noticed that you play as well, so would you mind having a match, however? It, yeah, I'm not having a match, however, if you'd rather play VM, I'd be fine with that too. That sounds great. I'll come find you when I have some free time. Nice. Wow, so after all these years, that was how you finally partnered up with Hugo? Aye, and he wasn't easy getting him to admit to his mistakes, I'll tell you that. If he wasn't for the... If he's wanting forgiveness, I'm gonna make him work for it. But then again, he is a wee bit more honest with himself than he used to be. Maybe that's worth something. It must be nice to have a rival you can trust to bring out the best in you. You daft in the head or something? We're no nearly as pally as that. I'm more interested in hearing about you and Gaius. You seem to be sneaking off together an awful lot lately. Me and Gaius? Oh no, we're not. He's just a friend, really. The only thing we have in common is the art club. Oh, really? You're sure there's nothing more to it than that? This is not a conversation for me. Keep walking, Reen. Ark and CL's performance coupled with the music made for a truly movable experience. I've got a little recorder and ready to broadcast. <laughs> I'll be playing as a special presentation by Radio Trista. Vivian and her crew seem to be playing something big before the fighting begins. And I'm not about to let them show Radio Trista up. Just like that broadcast before, I plan to slip just past the military sensors and light a fire in the hearts of our listeners. Elisa, Jessica, Angelica. How about that? Everyone from Orteria is all together. Oh yeah, I guess we are. 
Funny, I never made that connection. Well, we didn't meet until after leaving home. We could have passed each other back in Ruhr and never even realized. Yeah, that's so weird. It's too bad Ruhr is under such strict surveillance. It might be fun to hit the town together. Maybe we can go back once this is all over. You're welcome to join, Reen. You're from Norteria too, after all. Now you mention it, I'd love to visit Ymir someday. We'd love to have you. I'll break out some real old-fashioned hospitality. Seventh Slash Hospitality! <laughs> Elliot, the training you've put together, you put everyone through last night was positively dragging. Seriously, when music is involved, you don't mess around. Oh, come on. I wasn't that bad. But, well, everyone was so worked up about it, I might have gone a little overboard to match. So, so many people from many walks of life all came together to make this concert a reality. It's kind of hard to believe. I'd love it if we could all get together to perform again sometime. Just as long as I don't want to sing with Magius like at the school festival. Ah, oh, but you two harmonize so well! There you have it, Yusus. The maestro has spoken. <laughs> Fine. I know better than try to argue with Elliot about music. Something to help re uh, rejuvenate. Wait. Yeah, it's rejuvenate, isn't it? I think it's reinvigorate. Invigorate? I don't know. Everyone after the back-to-back -back trials in the performance. That's right. He depicts some honey up in Crossbell, and I want to put it to good use. Just don't put anything weird in it this time around, okay? Those weird ingredients help to give a dish character, but... Okay, if that's what you want. How does the flan sound? Is that safe enough for you? Sounds great. Thanks, Freddy. And while you do that, I'm gonna make a nice honey ice cream sponge cake. I feel a lot better about these snacks knowing Sandy's there to keep Freddy in line. Hmm. Alright, I think we're done with this floor now, aren't we? Oh, no, no, wait. That sounds like a fair price. Could you get me five more cases? Oh, and there's also something I'd like you to acquire through all alternative means. Oh, I can get a discount for buying it in bulk. That's a good deal. And you've got some decent products, too. Give me a minute to think about it. Sounds like some serious negotiation going on there. Wait, am I really watching a business transaction between a man and a dog like it's no big deal? What has my wife become? Gotta sort out the orders soon. Let's see. The Thor's kids burn through supplies like there's no tomorrow, so I better stock up on that stuff. The old geezer from Aaron helped me out, so I'll throw him in I'll throw in a bonus for him. The Northambrian and Orid are in deep shit, which makes it a pain to manage all the orders flooding in. Meh, I'll ship whatever I can get via Capu and order in more ASAP. Can't leave my customers out their boomsticks when war's about to start. You've expanded your customer base, I see. I reached out to potential buyers and secured new supply routes without telling Mama. The business really took off thanks to that. I'm dealing with the army, volunteer soldiers, the mafia. It's awesome. Talk about some unsavory bedfellows. Oh well, you sell what I need. So I'm in no position to moralize. You sell what I need. I'm not gonna tell you to stop. I heard about Orca's Tower. Nice work, Kurt. I hear you got help from an unexpected quarter. Yes, seeing Mueller and Mother was one thing, but Uncle Zex was the last person I expected to show up. Though, it sounds like you had your fair share of trials to overcome as well. Come to think of it, with the Prince and the Instructors and the Old Class 7 away, you guys would have had to take care of the whole ship. It was hard not to be nervous, but compared to some of the field exercises we've made it through, it was nothing to get worked up about. Gustav. I would say you and your fellow musicians may have had the greatest challenge of all, performing on a major stage. Well, given who we are, who we were with, it was a little nerve-wracking at first. Once we got started, though, Pablo and I just let the mood carry us and had fun. I'm glad to hear that. Look at us. We're a surprisingly capable bunch. Mm -hmm. War and her dad are having tea. I should give them their space. Come now, Reen. Join us. Don't pay me any mind. Yes, we've already said e everything we need to say to each other. 
I should have known I couldn't slip by without you two noticing me. How are you feeling, Viscount Arsade? Much better now, thanks to the ship's excellent facilities. More than anything, I feel grateful to be able to spend time with my daughter again. Father. After a, while, after a little more rest, I should be ready to take up my sword again. I'm looking forward to spending some time in your training hall. Now read, don't let your guard down at the next sanctuary. <sighs> Understand. I'll be careful, Viscount. Thank you. Well, hello, Reen. Would you like to take to try a sip of my latest concoction? I've taken Freddy's speed back and tried oh so many different brews. I've been really working myself to the bone. I made this extra special key for Vincent in the hope that it would help him relax after his various travels and the lead up to the war. It's called Special Red Viper Frass Tea. That's 